was having a conversation with someone in the comment section of my last video, and the person initially really pissed me off because I didn't understand that they were coming from a non-United States perspective on the political spectrum. Okay, left-wing and right-wing mean very different things here in the United States than they do in many other parts of the world. You know, here in the United States, yet right-wingers can most definitely be authoritarian. Okay, Republicans can absolutely be authoritarian. Um, here in the United States, you know, Republicans who, when you, when you say right-wingers, you're generally referring to Republicans here in the United States because they're the ones that have the power. There are very few libertarians in power. You know, we're, we're probably never going to see a libertarian president, for instance. You know, it's always going to be either a, a Republican or a Democrat or possibly some sort of a I don't know, maybe we'll sometime get some sort of a Green Party or something. I don't know. No, probably not. We're probably going to be stuck with these two parties, and it kind of sucks. Because they don't really represent the people very well. But, yet here in the States, when someone says right-winger, they're, they're usually referring to Republicans. And Republicans are not really that much about freedom. Not really. You know, they... They want to cram one way of life, one lifestyle, you know, traditional family values, just, you know, uh, oftentimes religious tradition down everyone's throats. And they'd, they'd like to enforce it. And if we give them the power to enforce it, they will. You know, things have gotten a lot better over recent years. You know, in the past, last 20 years, uh, even the last 30 years, there's been a significant improvement where right-wingers here in the United States have lost that type of power. They haven't been able to cram those things down people's throats. But if we give them the chance, they will again. That's just how they are. You just have to listen to some of the right-wing think tanks here in the States and you can hear it. You can hear it from people like Ben Shapiro. You can hear it from anyone on the, the Daily Wire. All over it. They want their values to, to override anyone else's freedoms. You know, one way of life, one lifestyle, one way of looking at the world. And anything else should be shunned. Heck, there are, there are some Republicans out there who wouldn't have a problem with, you know, when it comes to the Bible-based God, uh, they wouldn't have a problem with blasphemy laws. Okay, that's authoritarian. And Republicans were the original cancel culture. Who, who were those? Uh, something girls. Uh, what were they? The... Uh, in, no, what were they? They were, there was a, it, during the Bush years, there was a, a female country band. And uh, they said something negative about George Bush and Republicans tried to cancel them. Oh, how dare you say something about Bush? Did you forget about that? You know, back in the 80s, you know, if you if someone said something that was pro-gay or uh, pro-atheism or, you know, pro-anything that, that goes against traditional values, uh, let, let's cancel them. Yeah, I, I mean, just give me a break, you know. Give me a break, give me a break. Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, um... Now, the left wing, obviously, um, has their own way of, on a social level, being authoritarian. You know, the left wing, you know, particularly more recently, they're, on a social level, authoritarian. They want 
to try to force everyone to pretend that they accept other lifestyles, other cultures, other ways of living. Um, you know, they, they want to enforce the acceptance of multiculturalism. And if you say something negative about multiculturalism, well, you should be punished, right? That's the kind of authoritarianism you find on the left. And it can get pretty extreme. It can be pretty over the top. You know, I'm not going to deny that at all. You know, both sides here in the United States have their own forms of authoritarianism. Now, if it's not that way in other countries, I, I, I can't really speak for them. I can only speak for the United States. So, you know, for those of you who watch my videos who are not from the United States and you don't really understand the way politics has been working in this country, I mean, maybe my last video just seemed weird to you. But, you know, I, I think the political compass is a very good way of breaking apart the political spectrum. It takes into account the differences between the left and the right, and it takes into account authoritarianism versus, uh, uh, you know, freedom and, and libertarianism and, and even anarchy. It takes all of those things into consideration. Why wouldn't you want to use that? To me, it's, it's absurd to claim that communism and fascism are essentially the same thing. It's absurd to claim that people wanting a theocracy are pushing leftism of some sort. It just seems absurd to me. You know, it seems absurd to claim that, you know, religious zealots, Republican religious zealots trying to enforce their views into law is somehow left wing. You're, that's essentially saying that Republicans are left wing. That's nuts. That's just nuts. So, you know, if, if things really are that much different in, in, in other countries, so be it. You, you need to understand how things are here in the States um, before you make these absolutist statements. Just saying.